Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hebrew ebook before it's gone. Hi everyone, my name is Yara, and today we're going to do uh, top Hebrew phrases. These are very useful phrases you're going to hear a lot when you come to Israel, so uh, make sure to memorize them. Okay, let's start. Shalom. Hello. Shalom literally means peace, but we use it also as a greeting. Shalom. Manishma. How are you? Uh, that's a very casual way of asking how are you, and it literally means what is heard? Like, yeah, like, what have you been up to? What's going on with you? Manishma. Toda. Thanks. And probably the only way to say it, we don't have, like, thanks or thank you, it's just toda. Bevakasha. Please. Bevakasha, it means please, but it can also mean there you go. So you can say, Efshar lekabel maim, bevakasha. Can I have water, please? And when you give someone water, you can also say, Bevakasha, there you go. Slicha, excuse me. Uh, it means excuse me or sorry. So when you like push through people in the bus, you can go, mm, Slicha, Slicha, Slicha. Uh, but when you step on someone on the bus, you can also say, Oi, Slicha, I'm sorry. Lehitraot, see you. It literally means to see each other again. So it's like, to see each other again. <laughs> להתראות. Uh, it's also very casual. בסדר. Okay. This is a very, very useful word. You can say it when someone asks you, how are you? בסדר. You can say it to show you understand something. When someone gives you direction, you're like, בסדר. Uh, it literally means in order. Like everything's in order. טוב. Fine. Uh, most of the time it means fine. Literally it means good. A lot like beseder. How are you? Tov. To respond to a direction, like, uh, go that way, please. Tov. Fine, I understand. Al-lo davar. You're welcome. We use it as, you're welcome, and it literally means, oh, for nothing. Thank you. Oh, al-lo davar. It was nothing. It's maybe a bit more formal than bevakasha. Most of the times when people say toda, you answer, בבקשה. You can also answer, הלא דבר. It's pretty much the same, though בבקשה is a bit more common. בוקר טוב. Good morning. בוקר טוב, uh, which literally means good morning, and you obviously use it in the morning. בוקר טוב. לילה טוב. Good night. So, yeah, good night you can say uh, when you... Leave a party at night, you know, you can say, okay, bye, good night, laila tov. Tsohoraim tovim, good afternoon. Tsohoraim tovim, good afternoon. You can definitely say that, but you don't hear it that often. It literally means good noon. Ma shimcha, what's your name? For a male, it would be ma shimcha. For a female, ma shmech, what is your name? You can also ask, איך קוראים לך? Which literally means how are you called? And this is the most common way to ask. נעים להכיר. Nice to meet you. Literally, I guess it would mean pleasant. It is pleasant to meet you. And you can say נעים להכיר אותך for a woman or נעים להכיר אותך for a man. איפה? Where? איפה? התחנה. Where is the station? Efo is very important. You should memorize this one. Ani mevin. I see. For a woman, it would be Ani mevina. I understand. I see. Ani mevina. Ma hasha'a? What time is it? The literal translation would be What is the hour? This is how you ask. Slicha, ma hasha'a? Excuse me, what time is it? Efshar bevakasha lekabel? Can I please have? אפשר בבקשה לקבל מים? Can I please have some water? And this would be the same uh, for a male speaker and for a female speaker. אפשר בבקשה לקבל? איפה השירותים? Where is the restroom? איפה השירותים? Where is the restroom? שירותים 
his restroom. איפה השירותים? Another one to memorize. אני מצטער. I'm sorry. אני מצטער. Or for a female speaker, אני מצטערת. אני מצטערת להפריע. I'm sorry to interrupt. כן. Yes. You can use it in any way you use yes. Yeah, use it. Be positive. לא. No. I like this word. It has a fun sound and it was my sister's first word. לא. No. בלי. I feel like. בלי. It's two words. בלי. And it means I feel like I want. And you can also use it as a negative. בלי גלידה. I feel like ice cream. I want ice cream. לא בא לי ללכת לבית הספר. I don't feel like going to school. So it's very useful. Children use it a lot, but grown-ups use it too. Die. Enough. Stop. Uh, it sounds really bad, but it's harmless. It means uh, enough or um, stop. When someone is like bugging you, poking you, like, die. Stop it. Enough. Yeah. כמה זה עולה? How much is it? כמה זה עולה? How much is it? How much does it cost? מעולה. Awesome. Great. I guess maybe the Hebrew equivalent of the word awesome, uh, it's מעולה. The masculine form is מעולה and the feminine is מעולה. Like, ההופעה uh, הזאת מעולה. This show is awesome. It's great. איך היה הטיול? היה מעולה. How was the trip? It was מעולה. Great, awesome. Okay, that's it for today for Top Hebrew Phrases. Thank you so much for watching. And what is your favorite Hebrew phrase? Tell us on the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Shalom, I'm Yana. Hi everybody, I'm Yana. Welcome to HebrewPod101.com's Ivrit B'Shalosh Dakot, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hebrew. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying Toda. In this lesson, we learned some of the most common greetings used in Israel. Atem uchanim? Are you ready? Az bo natkhil. So let's start. The most used greeting is Shalom. Sha-lom. We also saw it in the first lesson. Shalom simply means hi or hello. It can also mean goodbye. We use it when we meet, but also can use it when we part. Shalom means something like peace, so it makes the greeting very special. It is common to say shalom in both informal and formal situations, and at any time of the day. In the morning, you can also greet people with Boker Tov, Boker Tov, which means good morning. Boker is morning, and Tov is good. During the evening, we also say Erev Tov, Erev Tov. Erev is Hebrew for evening, so Erev Tov means good evening. Boker Tov and Erev Tov are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. Another way to say goodbye in Hebrew is Lehitraot. Lehitraot. It is actually more common to use Lehitraot than Shalom when leaving. But most people in Israel just say bye. Bye! Now you can greet people in many different ways in Hebrew. Let's review them all again. When meeting people in formal and informal situations, Shalom. In the morning until the afternoon we say, Boker Tov. And in the evening, Erev Tov. When living in any situation, Lehitraot. Or simply, Bye. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Yana's insights. In formal situations, Israeli people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. On the other hand, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we kiss each other on one cheek. Don't be afraid to do it with your Israeli friends. It's normal. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Ata medaber anglit or At medaberet anglit. Do you already know it? We'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our next Ivrit B'Shalosh Dakot lesson. Lehitraot. Bye! Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hebrewpod101.com. It's been getting ready dance. Hi everyone, welcome to Top Hebrew Words. My name is Yara and today's theme is 15 questions you should know. So 
let's start. מאיפה אתה? Where are you from? מאיפה אתה? Where are you from? And if you want to ask a female, it's מאיפה את? אני מתל אביב. I am from תל אביב. בן כמה אתה? How old are you? בן כמה אתה? How old are you? For a female, it would be בת כמה את? I'm not gonna answer that one. מה שמך? What's your name? מה שמך? What is your name? For a female, מה שמך? A more common way of asking that would be איך קוראים לך? Or for a female, איך קוראים לך? Which literally mean how are you called? מה שלומך? How are you? מה שלומך? Or מה שלומך? For a woman, and this is how are you? How do you feel? מה זה? What's this? מה זה? What is this? מה זה? Some people use it uh, as... What? Like, what did you say? מה זה? But uh, most of the times it's used uh, when you want to know what a thing is. Excuse me? מה זה? מה אמרת? What did you say? מה אמרת? What did you say? And for a female, מה אמרת? לא אמרתי כלום. I didn't say anything. איפה אתה עובד? Where do you work? איפה אתה עובד? Where do you work? And for a female, איפה את עובדת? איפה השירותים? Where is the bathroom? Memorize this one. איפה השירותים? Where is the bathroom? Excuse me. Where... איפה השירותים? איפה אתה גר? Where do you live? איפה אתה גר? Where do you live? Or for a female, איפה את גרה? מתי יום ההולדת שלך? When is your birthday? מתי יום ההולדת שלך? When is your birthday? For a female, מתי יום ההולדת שלך? כמה זמן אתה לומד עברית? How long have you been studying Hebrew? כמה זמן אתה לומד עברית? How long have you been studying Hebrew? For a female, כמה זמן את לומדת עברית? איפה למדת עברית? Where did you learn Hebrew? איפה למדת עברית? Where did you study Hebrew? Or for a female, איפה למדת עברית? That's an easy question. HebrewPod101.com היית בישראל? Have you been to Israel? היית בישראל? Have you been to Israel? For a female, היית בישראל? Well, have you? אתה אוהב אוכל ישראלי? Do you like Israeli food? אתה אוהב אוכל ישראלי? Do you like Israeli food? And for a female, את אוהבת אוכל ישראלי? איפה אתה רוצה לבקר? Where do you want to visit? איפה אתה רוצה לבקר? Where do you want to visit? Or for a female, איפה את רוצה לבקר? So this is it. This was 15 questions that you should know in Hebrew. Thank you so much for watching. And have you ever been to Israel? What is your favorite Israeli food? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye! Shalom, אני יאנה. Hi everybody, I'm Yana. Welcome to HebrewPod101.com's עברית בשלוש דקות. the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hebrew. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Hebrew. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Hebrew, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if the answer is no. As already mentioned in previous lessons, in Hebrew there is a difference between male and female speech. So if you want to ask a woman, say, את מדברת אנגלית? את מדברת אנגלית? In Hebrew, verbs change depending on the pronoun that is used according to the gender of both the speaker and the addressee. 
at in this case is the female pronoun for you. So the verb medaberet, which means speak, refers to a female. For example, if I said I speak English, it will be ani medaberet anglit. Ani, as we learned already, means I am. Ani is the only way you can say I am in Hebrew, regardless of one's gender. Then, medaberet is the female conjugation for speak or speaking. So, ani medaberet anglit will be used only by a female speaker. On the other hand, if you're asking a man if he speaks English, you say, ata medaber anglit, ata medaber anglit. Ata in this case is the male pronoun for you. So the verb medaber, which means speak, refers to a man only. So if you're a man and want to say, I speak English, it will be ani medaber anglit. It is important to notice that in Hebrew, the pronoun and the verb change according to female, male, and also to singular or plural of the same sentence. So basically, there are four ways to say each phrase. But don't worry, we will talk more about that later. For now, please only remember that you can use both at medaberet anglit and ata medaber anglit only if you're addressing one person. So let's review them once again. At medaberet anglit, if you are asking a woman. And ata medaber anglit, if you are asking a man. Adding slicha, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Slicha, at medaberet anglit. Slicha, at medaberet anglit. Or slicha, ata medaber anglit. Slicha, ata medaber anglit. The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Can, yes, can. Ktsat, a little. Ktsat. Lo, ani lo medaber anglit. Or, lo, ani lo medaberet anglit. No, I don't speak English. Lo, ani lo medaber anglit. Lo, ani lo medaberet anglit. To make every sentence negative in Hebrew, you only have to add lo before the verb, which simply means no. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Yana's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Israeli people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute Anglit with Rusit for Russian, Italkit for Italian, Sfaradit for Spanish, and Germanit for German. In this lesson, we'll mention the expression Slicha. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Hebrew. It's never too late to show your good manners with Israeli people. I'll see you in the next Ivrit B'Shalosh Dakot lesson. Lehitraot! Hi everyone, good to see you again. I'm Yara and today we're going to be doing 10 lines you need for introducing yourself in Hebrew. So let's start. Shmi Yara. My name is Yara. Okay, this one is the most basic. Shmi Yara. My name is Yara. Shmi means my name, and it's the same for men and women. You should know, though, this is a bit formal. The casual way of introducing yourself is saying, Horim li ya'ara, which literally means something like, I'm called ya'ara. Shalom, na'im la'akir otcha. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Shalom, na'im la'akir otcha. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You say this when you're talking to a male. Otherwise, it's Shalom, na'im la'akir otach. Ani mi'Israel. I'm from Israel. Ani mi'Israel. I'm from Israel. You can obviously change that. I'm from Italy would be Ani mi'Italia. I'm from America will be Ani mi'America. Ani gara be'Yerushalayim. I live in Jerusalem. Ani gara be'Yerushalayim. I live in Jerusalem. I said the female form. The male form would be Ani gar Birushalayim. This verb, 
אני גרה, גר, it doesn't mean to live, like to exist, but to live in a place. So, אני גרה בירושלים. אני לומדת עברית כבר שנה. I've been learning Hebrew for a year. אני לומדת עברית כבר שנה. I've been learning Hebrew for a year. For a male it would be, אני לומד עברית כבר שנה. אני בת 27. I'm 27 years old. אני בת 27. I'm 27 years old. For a male, אני בן 27. אני מורה. I'm a teacher. אני מורה. I'm a teacher. Or for a male, אני מורה. You obviously don't have to say that if you're not a teacher. אחד התחביבים שלי הוא קריאה. One of my hobbies is reading. אחד התחביבים שלי הוא קריאה. One of my hobbies is reading. This sentence stays the same for male and for female speaker. אני נהנית להאזין למוזיקה. I enjoy listening to music. אני נהנית להאזין למוזיקה. I enjoy listening to music. For male speaker, אני נהנה להאזין למוזיקה. גדלתי בתל אביב. I grew up in Tel Aviv. גדלתי בתל אביב. I grew up in Tel Aviv. This sentence stays the same for a male and for a female speaker. Obviously, if you grew up somewhere else, you can also say, גדלתי בניו יורק. I grew up in New York. Or, גדלתי בפריז. I grew up in Paris. Okay, so these were 10 lines you need for introducing yourself in Hebrew. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. One of my hobbies is really... Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HebrewPod101.com. Hello, everybody. Edit here. Welcome to Hebrew Top Words. Today, we're going to talk about 20 travel phrases you should know. Let's get started. Could I get a map? Could I get a map? Obviously, you can hear the closeness between the word map and mapa. And I think probably the origin is like Greek or something like that, and it just, you know, found its way into all the different languages. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Well, obviously, if somebody speaks English, he can answer you that question even if you ask it in English. <laughs> Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Yes, autobus misda to ufala il. Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Yeah, that's always very useful. I suggest you ask this question, like, at the information center inside the airport and not just go outside and start asking people because most people have their own arrangements of getting to their own places and, you know, just talk to people who know stuff, you know? Yes, internet al khuti bechinam. Is there free Wi-Fi? Yes, internet al khuti bechinam. Is there free Wi-Fi? Now, this is a question that I can relate to. If you want to ask, like, what's the Wi-Fi password in Israel, then you should ask, Ma hasisma la Wi-Fi? If you say Wi-Fi, people know what that is. Um, so just ask, Ma hasisma? Yes, lachem chadarim pnuim alayla? Do you have any vacancies tonight? יש לכם חדרים פנויים הלילה? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Girl, if you didn't pre-order your rooms in advance, like, I don't know, I don't, I can't even, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? Just, what ifs. אני יכול לעבור לחדר אחר? Could I move to a different room? אני יכול לעבור לחדר אחר? Could I move to a different room? I don't normally do this unless the room is really bad or it smells. That happened to me before, like when the room just smells out of... out of nowhere. Hizmanti <laughs> makom. I have a reservation. Hizmanti makom. I have a reservation. So this one you can use in both restaurants or hotels or, you know, whenever you make a reservation to. Sometimes it could even be a bus, so that's really useful. Could we have the menu, please? Could we have the menu, please? 
yeah, sometimes they just forget. Like they sit, they sit you down, you're at the table. Sometimes they'll even give you water and no menu. So that's kind of funny. יש לך המלצות? Do you have any recommendations? יש לך המלצות? Do you have any recommendations? So I think like in Israel, generally, if you ask the waiter if he has recommendations, then he will tell you what he personally likes. Um, whereas in other places, they would like, oh, do you have recommendations? And they'll tell you, yeah, this and this is very popular. So I don't know what you guys prefer, but I kind of prefer the waiter's own preference because he probably ate all of the dishes in the menu and he knows what up, you know? אפשר לקבל את החשבון? Could I have the check? אפשר לקבל את החשבון? Could I have the check? Yeah, or you can just like... And I think that's like an international thing, you know, check please, but you'll be surprised some countries. אני אלרגי לבוטנים. I'm allergic to peanuts. אני אלרגי לבוטנים. I'm allergic to peanuts. That's really important if you're going to restaurants and if you have any sorts of allergies. So you should mention that and you should really make it clear. And funny story, I found out that in Israel, there are much less peanut allergies than any other place in the world because there's a peanut snack that parents just shove to their kids since they're like zero age. And apparently that kind of immunes them towards peanut allergies and it's very rare. So yay. <laughs> מים בבקשה. Water please. מים בבקשה. Water please. Yeah, water in restaurants. You should know that you're always supposed to get tap water for free, so remember that. כמה זה עולה? How much is this? כמה זה עולה? How much is this? Also a very useful phrase, you can ask that when you're doing shopping and clothes and like when you're buying tickets for something, so useful. אני רוצה עשרה כאלה. I'd like ten of these. אני רוצה עשרה כאלה. I'd like ten of these. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought ten of anything. אני רוצה את זה. I'd like this. אני רוצה את זה. I'd like this. So out of all the things, this is the thing you want. And you should emphasize, when you say that, you should emphasize the word זה, it, this. אתה יכול לתת לי הנחה? Could you give me a discount? אתה יכול לתת לי הנחה? Could you give me a discount? Now this one you should always say with a smile on your face. And another way of saying it in Hebrew, which is a little bit more common and a little bit more casual, is instead of, instead of the verb לתת, to give, use the verb לעשות, to do. אתה יכול לעשות לי הנחה? אתם מקבלים כרטיסי אשראי? Do you take credit card? אתם מקבלים כרטיסי אשראי? Do you take credit cards? Again, usually yes. Um, another very useful thing to ask with credit cards is if you can put, like, the tip in a restaurant, if you can put that on the credit card as well. And when you want to ask that, you'd say, אפשר טיפ באשראי? איפה תחנת הרכבת? Where is the train station? איפה תחנת הרכבת? Where is the train station? I feel like this sentence is more useful in places when you have, like, an underground train, uh, whereas in Israel you have, like, a train that goes between cities, but sometimes you need to take that to the airport, so it's good to ask. סליחה? כמה עולה נסיעה? Excuse me, what's the fare? סליחה, כמה עולה נסיעה? Excuse me, what's the fare? I guess you'd ask that probably only on a bus in Israel and not in any other place. אתה יכול לצלם אותי בבקשה? Could you take a picture of me, please? אתה יכול לצלם אותי בבקשה? Could you take a picture of me, please? Yeah, so if you're not that much into selfies or you'd want to get a more panoramic or wide view of what's behind you, then ask somebody. Don't be shy. Okay, that's it for today, everybody. Thank you for watching Hebrew Top Words. We spoke about 20 travel phrases that you should know. Please let me know down below if there's anything else that you want to know. 
and what do you commonly use and if you have a funny story for when you were abroad. I'd love to read all of your comments. Don't forget to like up this video and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out HebrewPod101.com for more content, more videos and more Hebrew. I'll see you next time. Bye. Shalom. Shalom. Ani Yana. Hi everybody. I'm Yana. Welcome to HebrewPod101.com's Ivrit Beshalosh Dakot. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Hebrew. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Hebrew, including Slicha and Ani Mitztaeret. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Hebrew. Yes, numbers. Misparim, from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. Beshalosh dakot. You already know the first number from last lesson and can make a full sentence. Do you remember? Kafe echad, bevakasha. Ready? Let's start. Echad. Echad. שתיים, שתיים, שלוש, שלוש, ארבע, ארבע, חמש, חמש, שש, שש, שבע, שבע, שמונה, שמונה, תשע, Tesha and Eser. Eser. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Ready? Echad. Shtaim. Shalosh. Arba. Chamesh. Shesh. Sheva Shmone Tesha Eser Great job! What is before Echad? Do you know? It's Ephes. Ephes. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Hebrew. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase Hamispar Sheli. Who, which means my number is Hamispar Sheli Hu Hamispar Sheli Hu Shalosh Shalosh Sheva Echad Stein Stein Arba Tesha Shesh Shmone. Can you read it by yourself? Shalosh Shalosh Sheva Echad, Shtaim, Shtaim, Arba, Tesha, Shesh, Shmone. Perfect. Now it's time for Yana's insights. When you travel in Israel, it's a good idea to start paying attention to the bus numbers, street numbers, dates, hours, and the local money, the shekel. It's the best practice to remember. You can start now if you are at your hometown to practice Hebrew numbers in your daily life. Do you know the Hebrew word for a hundred? In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Hebrew. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson from Echad till Eser. Lehitraot ve'ada pama ba'a. Bye! Shalom everybody, Edith here. This is Hebrew Top Words and today we're going to talk about top 10 must-know vocabulary for the restaurant. Let's start. Melzau, waiter. Melzau, waiter. Ha'adon noten tip la melzau. The gentleman is tipping the waiter. So the word adon is not very much used in Hebrew, even less than the word gentleman in English. It's just that Hebrew got to be so casual with the years that people hardly ever use these words anymore. And it's kind of a funny thing to say, but it's still a word that you should know. You will encounter it in maybe even in the newspapers or in books, obviously. So yeah, it's good to know. Melzarit, waitress. Melzarit, waitress. 
טליה, מלצרית במסעדה איטלקית. טליה is a waitress in an Italian restaurant. Now this is a much more realistic phrase, like in English, which is not something that happens very often. You have a different word for a male and a female doing the same thing. A waiter is מלצר, and a waitress מלצרית. תפריט, menu. תפריט, menu. אפשר לראות את התפריט בבקשה? Can I see the menu, please? Um, this is just like a very useful sentence for a restaurant because I'm always that person that takes forever to choose. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am. So just let me see the menu, okay? Unless it's some place that I go like every day or like a lot or often, I, I'm like sitting in front of the menu like... But I'm a good chooser, I have to admit. I like... When I, when I get my dish, everybody's like, oh... Hazmana. Order. Hazmana. Order. התקשר כדי לבצע הזמנה. Call to place an order. So the word for Hebrew הזמנה can also mean a reservation. It can also mean the order that you're taking when you're sitting at the restaurant. And it can also be like a takeaway order that you do by the phone. Very useful word. מים. Water. מים. Water. תשתה מים כל יום. Drink water every day. Well, of course, but not just every day. You have to... Like drink like three liters of water every day, especially now during summer. And you can get tap water for free in any restaurant or bar in Israel, so you should just know that I think like that's a law or something that you're allowed to get free water. Chef, 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 chef. A chef machinet amana. The chef is preparing the dish. Is there any language where a chef is not a chef? Like I'm... שף, שף, מסעדה, רסטורנט, מסעדה, רסטורנט. הוא הלך למסעדה אחרי העבודה. He went to a restaurant after work. Um, so the word מסעדה is from the word סעד, which means to eat or to have a meal. חשבון, בל. חשבון, בל. מלצר, החשבון. Waiter, the bill. Um, the word cheshbon in Hebrew also means maths. <laughs> because you have to do the maths to know how much you pay, right? So it just makes sense. So, waiter, the maths. Taim, delicious. Taim, delicious. Schug im gvina levana alechem, ze taim meot. Schug with white cheese on bread is very delicious. Yes, it is, if you like spicy food. Manai karit, main course. Manai karit, main course. Hamanai karit ha'erev, hidaga la'esh. Tonight's main course is grilled fish. Okay, everybody, that's it. Today we talked about 15 must-know vocabulary for the restaurant. Let me know in the comments below about your experiences at restaurants. Good ones, bad ones, funny ones. I sure have a lot of embarrassing ones. So <laughs> let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like up this video, subscribe, and check out HebrewPod101.com for more Hebrew, more content, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, shalom. Shalom, Ani Yana. Hi everybody, I'm Yana. Welcome to HebrewPod101.com's Ivrit Beshalosh Dakot, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hebrew. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Hebrew. I hope you spent some time practicing the numbers, because they will come in handy today. We are going to learn how to go shopping in Israel. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is it. Kama ze ole. Kama ze Ole. Kama is how much. Ze is this for an object. And ole is costs. Are you ready to go shopping? Let's go. You see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say to a shop clerk is Slicha. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Slicha, kama ze ole? Slicha. Kama, ze, ole. You don't even need to know the name of each thing you are interested in. You can just use ze, which means this. So it's super easy. 
Usually the clerk will answer by only saying the amount it costs. For example, 89 shekel, 30 shekel, 100 shekel, etc. What number is 89? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay, it's 89. 89 shekel. It costs 89 shekel. Now it's time for Yana's insights. A quicker way to ask how much is kamaze, which literally means how much. Even when you ask for a coffee at the counter, you can ask the cashier. Kafe echad bevakasha, kamaze. One coffee, please. How much is it? Kafe echad bevakasha, kama ze. At this point, can you count shekel in Hebrew? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Ivrit Beshalosh Takot lesson. Lehitraot. Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HebrewPod101.com. Hi everyone, Edith here. Welcome to Hebrew Top Words. Today we are going to talk about top 10 phrases to survive at the station. To be honest, the stations are not too complicated. Um, you don't really have that many lines in each station. So it's usually just like one line going either north or south. Um, so it's not that confusing. Um, and you don't really have to change a lot of trains usually because there aren't that many lines. So it's, it's not that difficult. And everything is English too. Like you have Hebrew and English everywhere. If you want to challenge yourself, you can speak Hebrew. Uh, but you really don't have to. Uh, all right, let's dig in. איפה אני מחליף רכבת לגן החיות התנכי בירושלים? איפה אני מחליף רכבת לגן החיות התנכי בירושלים? Where do I change for Jerusalem Biblical Zoo Station? איפה אני מחליף רכבת לגן החיות התנכי בירושלים? איפה אני מחליף רכבת לגן החיות התנכי בירושלים? Where do I change for Jerusalem Biblical Zoo Station? Um, to be honest, the trains to Jerusalem are not the easiest, but there is a station, like a, a train that goes straight into the zoo, which is really nice. Um, and it's a really nice zoo, so if you get the chance, uh, you should go there. Is it in the Azriel? Is it in the Azriel? Does this stop at Azriel Station? Is it in the Azriel? זה עוצר בתחנת עזריאלי? Does this stop at Azriali Station? Um, so Azriali Station is a very, very central station in the middle of Tel Aviv. Um, it's close both to a very famous military base, which is the most important military base in Israel, and um, also just close to like a big shopping mall and city center. So a lot of people go through there like from all over the country to Azraeli Station and from Azraeli Station to anywhere else. Zehu ha-ratsif ha-nachon l-tachanat Savidor Merkaz? Zehu ha-ratsif ha-nachon l-tachanat Savidor Merkaz? Is this the right platform for Savidor Merkaz Station? Zehu ha-ratsif ha-nachon l-tachanat Savidor Merkaz? Zehu ha-ratsif ha-nachon לתחנת סבידור מרכז? Is this the right platform to סבידור מרכז station? סבידור מרכז is uh, like I think one station after <laughs> as really. Um, it's also quite central and I actually I think Tel Aviv has the most amount of stations um, like train stations than any other city which makes sense. I mean it's the biggest one. אני רוצה לנסוע לתחנת סבידור מרכז. אני רוצה לנסוע לתחנת סבידור מרכז. I'd like to go to סבידור מרכז סטיישן. אני רוצה לנסוע לתחנת סבידור מרכז. אני רוצה לנסוע לתחנת סבידור מרכז. I'd like to go to סבידור מרכז סטיישן. Um, that sounds to me more like a reply, like if somebody asks you, oh, where do you need to go? And then you say, then you say, I want to go to ta 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 ta. Because if you just come up to somebody, it's usually like, excuse me, no 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 no. Like you ask a question, right? Um, 
So this is more of a reply, I believe. Eifo tachanat harakevet? Eifo tachanat harakevet? Where's the train station? Eifo tachanat harakevet? Eifo tachanat harakevet? Where's the train station? It's usually pretty hard to miss. <laughs> um, the stations are quite big because there aren't that many lines. A lot of people use the same lines. Um, so they're usually like big and getting bigger all the time. So, yeah. Hey, can I turn the card? Hey, can I turn the card? Where can I buy a ticket? Hey, can I turn the card? Hey, can I turn the card? Where can I buy a ticket? Um, like anywhere, I guess, in the world, you have. The cashier, like a human cashier, and you also have like the automatic machine that you can buy tickets, and it's all in English as well. So if you go, don't worry. <laughs> I think there's like I think there's special seats. There's special seats for elderly people or um, people who are handicapped, um, but that that's pretty much it. Um, soldiers, if they they need to show like a soldier certificate, and also policemen. If they have a policeman certificate and they are on uniform, not off uniform, uh, they don't have to pay the ticket um, to go anywhere in Israel with public public transportation. Um, but if you're a soldier or a policeman and you're not wearing your uniform, then it's still going to cost money. Kama ze legiva time? Kama ze legiva time? How much is it to give a time? Kama ze legiva time? Kama Ze le give a time. How much is it to give a time? Uh, give a time is quite a small city that's pretty much annexed to uh, Tel Aviv. They're pretty much connected, but it's a separate, I guess, um, separate uh, um, enforcement. I don't know. Uh, there isn't really a train station there. <laughs> um, you can get there quite easily by train, but it's not in give a time. It's in Tel Aviv. Um, so when we, when we want to ask about anything, um, how much is it, we can say kama ze, which is quite a simple way to ask how much something costs. And when you, when you want to get somewhere, um, you just add le, which means to. So kama ze, how much, le, to, whatever. Uh, so for instance, you can say if you want to go to Azraeli station, you can ask Kama ze le Azraeli? Uh, that's pretty standard way of asking how much is it. Ha autobus haze no sea le batiam? Ha autobus haze no sea le batiam? Does this bus go to batiam? Ha autobus haze no sea le batiam? Ha autobus haze no sea le batiam? Does this bus go to batiam? Batyam is also a small town, small city, pretty much. That's also annexed to Tel Aviv from the south. It's actually very close to Jaffa. Um, and it's connected to Tel Aviv via the promenade. Like, you can get all the way from northern Tel Aviv to Batyam just walking on the beach, um, which is really nice. And it's a nice place, actually. It's, uh, it didn't used to be, but now it really is. Heichan tachanat ha-autobus. Heichan Tachanat ha-autobus. Where is the bus stop? Heichan tachanat ha-autobus. Heichan tachanat ha-autobus. Where is the bus stop? Um, another way of asking where is something that's a bit more colloquial and not so um, correct Hebrew is to ask eifo instead of heichan. For instance, I can ask eifo tachanat ha-autobus and not Heichan tachanat ha-autobus. Heichan kind of will make you sound a little bit like you're just learning Hebrew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like an, it's a, it's very correct, but it's kind of old-timey. Be'ezo sha'a yotze ha-autobus haba? Be'ezo sha'a yotze ha-autobus haba? What time is the next bus? Be'ezo sha'a yotze ha-autobus haba? Be'ezo sha'a yotze ha-autobus haba? 
What time is the next bus? When we, when we use the word yotse, we mean <clears throat> when, what time does it leave? Yotse means leave or going out. Um, we don't have to use it. We can also make it a bit shorter and just ask, Matai ha otobus haba? When is the next bus? Okay, guys, that's it. Those were 10 phrases to survive the stations. Let me know in the comments below if you ever had like a funny incident when you were in a, in a station, like in your country or in a, somewhere abroad. Um, you know, God knows that things can happen when you're abroad and it's sometimes really funny. Um, so yeah, let me know some stories and some questions that you have. Okay, and don't forget to check out HebrewPod101.com for more Hebrew, more content, and more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later. Welcome to HebrewPod101.com's Ivrit Beshalosh Dakot, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hebrew. Shalom, Ani Yana. Naim Meod. Hi, I'm Yana. It's a pleasure to meet you. In this series, we are going to learn basic Hebrew expressions. It's super easy, and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hebrew. In Hebrew, there is no formal and informal language. You can use this introduction in both cases and keep it simple. However, in Hebrew, there is a difference between male and female language. Let's first see how Israeli people introduce themselves in a simple way. Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Od. Hi, I'm Yana, it's a pleasure. Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod. Start by saying Shalom, Ani, then saying your name. Shalom, Ani Yana. Finally say Naim Meod. Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod. And now let's see the same sentence if you wish to be more specific in addressing the person you are introduced to. If you're introducing yourself to a woman, you should say, Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod Lehakir Otach. Hi, I'm Yana. It's a pleasure to meet you. Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod Lehakir Otach. If you are talking to a man, you should say, Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod Lehakir Otcha. Hi, I'm Yana. It's a pleasure to meet you. Shalom, Ani Yana. Naim Meod Lehakir Otcha. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. The last part of the introduction has been changed based on the gender of the person you are talking to. Shalom, Ani Yana. Naim Meod Lehakir Otach. For a woman. Versus Shalom, Ani Yana. Naim Meod Lehakir Otcha. For a man, Ani, in this case, has not been changed, and in both cases stands for I am, regardless of your gender. The last sounds of the last word changes, however. Otach, if you are talking to a woman, and Otcha, if you are speaking to a man. One more time, the simple way to introduce yourself in Hebrew is Shalom, Aniyana, Naim Meod. In case you want to personalize the greeting, you say, Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod Lehakir Otach. Shalom, Ani Yana, Naim Meod Lehakir Otcha. Now it's time for Yana's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Israel. If you don't want to worry about using the right word for men and women, just say Naim Meod, as I said at the beginning of this lesson. There is no cultural importance if you add the last part to the introduction. It just makes the sentence more complete. Do you know how to say thank you in Hebrew? You will learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Ada pama ba'a. Till next time. Hello everybody, Edith here. Welcome to Hebrew Top Words. And today we are going to talk about 10 top phrases to help you in an emergency. Let's start. Hitkasher la mishtara bevakasha. Call the police, please. Hitkasher la mishtara bevakasha. Call the police, please. If it's really an emergency, you don't have to say please. All right. Yesh lecha chom? Do you have a fever? Yesh lecha chom? Do you have a fever? If you do have a fever and it's not just like a cold or something, you really should see a doctor. It's really important. 
איבדתי את הדרכון שלי. I lost my passport. איבדתי את הדרכון שלי. I lost my passport. You can also say passport and people will understand because sometimes in Hebrew we say פספורט, but usually we say דרכון, from the word דרך, which means way, because it gives way for you to go places. אני לא מרגיש טוב. I don't feel well. אני לא מרגיש טוב. I don't feel well. That's a very general way of saying that you're not feeling well, um, but if you're at the doctor's office, you'll have to specify a little bit further than that. אני צריך רופא. I need a doctor. אני צריך רופא. I need a doctor. Doctor in Hebrew is רופא, and if you translate it to English, it basically means like a, a healer, <laughs> but it's not like the cosmic kind of a healer with the, with the gems and crystals. It's just like that's, that's the meaning of the word. אני לא מצליח למצוא את הדרך חזרה למלון שלי. I can't find the way back to my hotel. אני לא מצליח למצוא את הדרך חזרה למלון שלי. I can't find the way back to my hotel. Uh, luckily today most people have smartphones and they have a map application, so you know you can ask pretty much anybody to just put the address or the name of the hotel and they can show you how to go. So um, that's a big relief. יש בית מרקחת בסביבה? Is there a pharmacy nearby? יש בית מרקחת בסביבה? Is there a pharmacy nearby? In Israel, on Saturdays, usually most pharmacies and any other shops are closed, but there is always one that's supposed to be open um, 24-7. So if it is Saturday and you're stuck, you should ask for this specific one that is open. אתה יכול לעזור לי? Can you help me? אתה יכול לעזור לי? Can you help me? To help in Hebrew is לעזור. And I ask that for people a lot when I'm at the supermarket and I can't reach the top shelf. אני צריך אמבולנס. I need an ambulance. אני צריך אמבולנס. I need an ambulance. Luckily, that's the same word in Hebrew as it is in English. So whoever you say that to, they would understand, even if you don't know the rest of the sentence. It's good enough that you say ambulance, and they'll get it. They will call. Heichan bet hacholim. Where is the hospital? Heichan bet hacholim. Where is the hospital? In Hebrew, the word hospital is translated to sick people's home. So bet is home or house, and cholim is sick people. Okay, everybody, that's it. Those were 10 phrases to help you in an emergency. I hope you would never have to use them. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the comments below if you have any good or bad experiences in the world with any emergencies and um, if you've encountered anything like that. Don't forget to check out HebrewPod 101 for more videos, more Hebrew and more content. And I will see you all next time. Bye, Litot. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.